Okay, now what I did is I took the uh, the canoe out to the uh, outside, and I got put it in my vise, and I uh, I uh, worked it just like that. In other words, I mean, I, I kind of it, it helped a whole lot. Uh, I, the reason I, I did that too is because I don't really want you to hold this in your hand. Now, if you have a little Dremel, and I tell you what, if you if you carve, get you a little Dremel sometimes, and then. Got little sanders and things like that, and I'll I'll sand the inside of this, in other words, and get this this ready. But you see, this is basically how what it's going to look like, in other words. And I just took it out there, put it in a vise, so that I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have it uh, in my hands. I, I really don't want you to put it in your hands whenever you do this, because uh, you you know, if you haven't carved a long time, you might have problems with that. I don't want you to hurt yourself and say Gene calls me to hurt you. So. <laughs> Uh, okay, now let's look at something here. Okay, we've got the canoe uh, uh, almost finished, and now we're going to take our figure here and and look. Now, let me kind of show you how this is this is going to do. I'm going to fit it like that. That boat is going to fit. It's kind of similar like that. You see how that is? Where it's kind of like that. But you see how it fits in there good? He's going to be carrying it like that. See that? Now, of course, we're going to get him painted and get the, the arms just right. We'll, we'll show you how to we'll glue the arms just right and get it painted before we ever uh, glue the boat onto his hands or anything like that. In other words, all that has to be done, the painting and everything that's got to be done. So, now... We also are going to have a little oar that we're going to make. Uh, where's my... We're going to, we're going to uh, make a little oar just as soon as I find... Uh, boy, i tell you what, I've got everything. Here it is. Here it is. Get my knife. We're going to make a little oar that's going to go in the boat, too, in other words. And... Uh, um, all we do is, is I'm going to have the pattern. You cut it out, and uh, out of about a quarter of an inch, uh, quarter of an inch thick piece of basswood, just an old scrap piece of basswood, and it, it's pretty simple to carve. In other words, it's just a little. You'll have the pattern, and the pattern will pretty much show you. Uh, you just sort of uh, just sort of get it down like that. In other words, just a little or kind of fit into the boat and everything like that. Not a big deal, not a uh, kind of come this way and that way, just sort of just a little paddle or an oar kind of uh, decorate the boat with. Just like that. Just yeah, sort of. We're not going to get into a lot of uh, strong carving on this. Let me put this a little bit better. There, see? See a little ore just sort of like that. In other words, just flatten it out. and Just, uh, this is a real, but what we'll do is when we get through with the boat, we just sort of uh, slip that ore in there somewhere, in other words, and and uh, have the slat right here, in other words. But anyway, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. We're just gonna we're gonna wanna carve it down, carve a little ore, fit in the boat, in other words. Just be careful. It's uh, thin, thin wood in here, and just. Uh, Oop, like I said, it's thin wood. In pattern. But as you can see, you see it, it won't take you but just a second to carve a little ore to fit.
there you go, and something like that, in other words. And we'll have it kind of on the inside of the boat like that, in other words. But that's our our uh, figure now. And I'm going to take a uh, take my little uh, Dremel tool, and I'm just going to sand that out just a little bit right in there. But we're beginning to really see now his head's going to kind of fit in there like that. In other words, there you go, like that. And that boat's going to kind of come down uh, similar to that. He's going to be carrying it. But like I said, we've got to get all this painted and finished and everything like that before we even attach. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get our arms, we'll get our arms in the right position and then we'll glue them. And it's going to end up like that. So, uh, what what I'll be doing next is uh, showing you how to, we're, we'll start to get our arms in position and uh, get them glued and uh, uh, get this rounded out right in here. And uh, we're, we're, this project's coming to run along. So, I, you know, just, just keep it up. And uh, uh, like I said, go put, this, go put this boat out in, the, uh, in a vise and then work the inside of it out. In other words, just like that. It's not, not difficult with your, with your gouge or with a power tool like a, a Dremel or a, a, a uh, I can't remember what the other one's called. But it's not really that hard, see. You're just shaping it up. Okay.